I'm attempting to trade for Josh Allen in every Madden since his rookie season as a 74 overall, all the way to Madden 24 with its brand new six slot trading system. The problem? I only have one hour on the clock to successfully trade our way from Madden 19 to Madden 24, and if I don't successfully trade for Josh Allen in every Madden before the time runs out, I have to buy and give away a Josh Allen jersey to a random lucky subscriber in the comments. This might actually end up being impossible. I mean, he's only a 74 overall in Madden 19. This has got to be easy, right? The one hour timer has officially began. Now to stay on pace with today's challenge, I have to try and complete each trade within 10 minutes since there's six Maddens to get through. So hopefully this first Madden, since he's a 74 overall, is easy to complete because we need to save as much time as possible so I don't have to burn my bank account. So a 78 overall Ryan Tannehill, four overall higher than Josh Allen. I know he's a lot older here, but let's just see. Okay, that's kind of what I expected. So even as a 74 overall this isn't just gonna be a walk in the park like how about just the first round pick like I feel like they're not even gonna accept this and it's not even freaking close dude what did I get myself into all right so how about like our highest rated player Rashad Jones they're not even interested in him but we'll submit it through just to test out oh my god how about Rashad Jones Ryan Tannehill and we'll also throw in that first round draft pick please at least like show me some hope here oh my god if our man's already this hard to trade for as a 74 overall imagine how difficult it's gonna be once his overalls in the 90s this might be the most absurd challenge i've ever came up with all right so plan b how about josh Sitton and kenny steals how about these two young bucks like maybe give me some orange color i mean it's almost in the orange at least it's more than halfway so what if from here we threw in that first round draft pick like would this be enough not quite but at least we have some green so we have some upgrading to do Unless there's a third player that they really want. Like, do they want a young Kenyon Drake? Josh Sitton, Kenny Stills, and Kenyon Drake for Josh Allen. And yeah, they want the first round pick instead. Unless maybe they want, like, Aminka Fitzpatrick since he's a young cornerback. We'll submit this through. And it's in the green again, but not close enough. So let's see if we can actually get a better receiver than Kenny Stills. Maybe a 90 overall receiver should be able to do the trick. Now, how hard would Devontae Adams be to trade for? Pretty difficult, it looks like. Would Whatever it takes, boys, whatever it takes to bring in Josh Allen. That's already halfway. The thing is, I don't want to trade away my first round pick, but next year's I'd be willing to trade. Hopefully it's in the green. It's not. Maybe they want Rashad Jones. Like, why does nobody want my highest overall player? Five minutes in already. Like, I guess we're making some progress. Okay, so they do want Mika Fitzpatrick. Would this be enough? Not quite. But maybe now, like, a second round pick would be enough. It is in the green. I can't believe this is all for a 74 overall Josh Allen. I mean, if it gives me Devontae Adams, I'll take it and it was accepted. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake. Because if so, I am screwed. I really thought with him as a 74 overall, this would have been the man to actually save me time. I mean, as long as I complete the trade within 10 minutes, I'll be content. But hopefully they'll just accept this, please. Oh, this is not good. How about a first round pick and a second round pick? At least be green. <laughs> it's not green. How about this left guard thrown into the deal now? Still got a ways to go. Now, if we throw in that second round selection and it is in the green, maybe we can trade up for another first? Come on, just please accept this. All right, we got the number two pick in the draft for a second, a third, and Kenyon Drake. Can this please be enough so we can move on to Madden 20 and it at least is in the orange? Now, please, can this left guard be enough? to finally see this deal through. No, it's freaking not, dude. What do you want? Bro, this honestly might take more than 10 minutes. Does anybody want Rashad? How about Zach Martin? I mean, I would take a 97 rated. Okay, so that's very promising. Like, how about a fourth? Like, is a fourth enough for Zach Martin? Like, what is going on? How about a fourth from next year added in and that trade was just accepted? What the heck? So this has got to, man. This has absolutely got to be enough now. A 97, a 92, and the number two two overall pick for a 74 overall just please get me out of here it's still declined there's no way like, can i at least get the number one pick now got a first from next year added in the deal and it's getting close and we are officially over the 10 minute mark and in the madden where josh allen is the lowest overall of his entire career it has already taken us more than 10 minutes man at this rate already we're gonna fail the challenge and at least we got the number one pick this my friends has got to be enough 
Buffalo Bills, bro. I am absolutely begging. Absolutely begging. Still decline. Like, do I have to get the number three pick? Surely Devontae Adams is enough to get the number three pick, right? Declined? The team's not like Devontae Adams? So with the second round pick, it was accepted. So the number one, number two, and number three overall picks. If they don't take this, bro, I don't know what they will. What do you mean? I am absolutely lost for words. Do we have to trade for Jesus Christ himself? I'm literally trying everything possible here. I'm already starting to stress out, dude. Boys, we are running so far behind. Uh, Russell Wilson, can't even get him. Uh, Andrew Luck. We did get Andrew Luck. Okay, so there's some promise. Gotta accept a trade for Andrew freaking Luck, right? So prime Andrew Luck for a rookie quarterback who at this point is unproven. This has got to be accepted or not, dude, or just not. What if we now throw in the number three overall selection that's at least in the yellow? So if we can actually get one of those picks back from the Colts. Josh Sitton and Devontae Parker. Oh, that's not good. Why is this taking so long? Come on, Washington, give me number five. Please be enough. Please be enough. Still declined. Devontae Parker added in. Didn't even budge. What about your number one pick from next season? At least that was accepted. Now we just have to turn this into a first from this season. How about this, San Francisco? Thank you. We have taken up two Maddens worth of time with one dude. But this should be enough. Please, bro. Two first and Andrew Locke for 74 Josh. Please be enough. It's still declined. It's okay, though. It's okay. We can move this 12 up. Find somebody interested in one of these two? <laughs> Literally nobody is. Well, the Bengals kind of are. And it was accepted. That's huge. Oh, that's the biggest trade yet, bro. That should be enough. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my freaking life. It's still declined. This is the most unbelievable thing I've ever done in my entire life. I'm not even joking. Oh, I gotta get the number one pick from the Colts. Please be enough. Please be enough. Thank you, dear God. Please, bro. I am going as fast as I physically freaking can. Oh my God. Go right back to Indy. Come on. This has got to be enough. Thank you. Almost 20 minutes in. Andrew Luck in the number one and number two picks. Bro, I might actually shed tears. I might shed tears. We're not shedding tears. Pause the timer. Literally 20 minutes on the dot. And it's going to be even harder now in Madden 20 with them increased to a 77 overall. Honestly, if we trade for him quicker in this Madden with him at a higher overall, I might actually be mad. Let's just start small and see how it's looking. James White, 83 overall. And honest to God, bro, that actually kind of looks like it's going to be easier with him at a higher overall. Like, it makes no sense. Like, this is nice to see how the trade logic changes from Madden to Madden. But you go back and you're like, the entire time, the trade logic never made any sense. We need to save as much time as possible. We took up the time for two Maddens in one. Like, do I just try Tom Brady straight up? They're not even interested in them, and that doesn't look good. Like, so what about just our first round pick? Like, it is pick 32, so it's not the best first round pick. I mean, ha. We have 98 Dante Hightower, Julian Edelman, Jason McCourty, and they do want all three. Let's just go for two of them for now, and it is in the green. So maybe now, if we do add in that first round selection, this will be so much simpler than when he was a 74 overall. Thank the Lord. But now in Madden 21, I'm somehow expected to trade for an 88 overall superstar, Josh Allen. He was hard enough to trade for as a 74, dude. But if we can somehow complete this within eight minutes, we're back on track to at least be on pace to complete the challenge. Whether or not we'll be able to complete the challenge once Josh reaches 90 overall is remain to be seen. Let's go by team needs. They need a right in, so let's give them Carl Lawson. Let's just test it out, and it's definitely not close. You have an 89 rated Desi Bates. Let's try a straight up trade here, and that at least looks sort of promising. What if we like also just throw in our first round selection, which was supposed to be the number six pick. Desi Bates in the six pick for Josh Allen, and oh my god, dude, why is he easier to trade for the higher overall he gets? This game makes no gosh dang sense. Now, we do have Joe Burrow at our disposal, but we really don't need to throw him into the trade, so we don't have to. I'm not gonna. How about Giovanni Bernard instead? Imagine Giovanni Bernard gets his deal done. Not quite, but it made it closer. So, honestly, how about, like, a John Ross? John Ross is enough, dude! Zero shot that actually just happened. But now in Madden 22, he's a superstar X Factor. I have a bad feeling he's gonna be harder to trade for here than he was in his rookie season. See if we can bring Josh to another AFC East team. Let's just start off by like trying the young quarterback, Zach Wilson on top.
top of a few of the better players would say don't have many i can tell you right now this is going to be a struggle uh point proven okay so it looks like we might definitely have to go the draft pick route so let's see if we throw in two first from this year a top 10 pick and a number 24 submit this through and at least that's halfway so it's not completely dead out of the water might just take us a lot of trading not good because we really don't have any time to waste because josh allen's overall is only going to get higher we do have a first round pick from next year as well submit this through and it's already in the green so let's just improve these draft picks a little bit see if we can get ourselves like a top five pick let me make preferably the number one overall pick in the draft so the giants have the number one overall pick just trading draft picks and it was declined but there's promise about instead of the third we do two seconds please Thank you. While we're here, let's try to get as much ammo as we possibly can get because I know we're going to freaking need it. Let's try to turn this first and second from next year along with the third into a top 10 pick from this season. How about number seven from the Dolphins? Hopefully this will be enough. Beautiful. We now have the number one, number seven, and number 10 pick in the draft. We'll be making a brilliant time if we can actually have this trade be accepted. A 10, a 7, a 1. Please, Bills, accept. And it was. I actually thought it was going to be so much harder than this. But in Madden 23, not only did they change the trade logic, Josh Allen bumped up even more to a 93. What I don't need is for this to take any more than like 10 minutes. I need as much time as I possibly can in Madden 24 because I haven't even touched the game yet. I don't even know how to trade in it. So honest to God, I'm not too confident even with 30 minutes left to go. Now we start small. Devontae Smith for Josh Allen. Smith this through. Okay, so that is just like not good. How about AJ Brown instead? Okay, so you'd need about 5, 6 AJ Browns. I mean, we do have a good quarterback here, you know, and Jalen Hurts. Just interested to see how close this would be straight up and it's not even halfway which uh could be a big problem what if we go like Jalen Hurts and we also go like Lane Johnson and Darius Slay maybe three really high rated players with a good quarterback and it at least at least is in the green how about we go AJ Brown instead and maybe Hassan Reddit so two really good players in their prime with years to go come on except please oh god it went down the trade logic in Madden 23 does prefer players that are higher overall so we might actually need to go out and try and trade for a 99 overall but what 99 overall player should we trade for maybe we could try Travis Kelsey how hilarious would this be two brothers traded in a straight up swap and hey it's green and I really didn't think it was gonna be green potential a lot of potential about our backup running back like is this enough to see the deal through definitely not you have a nice little left tackle you guys want them and you don't want them enough what about 500 year old fletcher cox they do want him this should be accepted right we have ourselves a 99 overall but how about now travis kelsey lane johnson and jalen hurts this at least has got to be close i think it honestly might have been closer without travis kelsey how about a draft pick instead and that is not looking good. Maybe if we traded this draft pick up to like a top five pick. Really don't know how I feel about this. There's still a ways to go. I mean, maybe I just throw in like a third round pick. Still declined. I mean, I guess I'll do a second instead. Still declined. What about a second and a third instead? Okay, that was accepted. Come on now. I at least want to have myself 15 minutes for Madden 24. So the number five pick in the draft, Jalen Hurts and Travis Kelsey for Josh Allen. Let me know if you would actually accept this trade if you were the GM of the Bills. We'll try it though in Madden 23 and it keeps going backwards. Did that, did that go backwards from pick 18? I, I, what the heck? What if we traded up a little bit to Justin Herbert? I mean, it couldn't hurt. It definitely doesn't get accepted straight up. So this at least shows if we get Justin Herbert, that'll help more in our trade. I mean, I'll throw in that number 19 pick. Is this enough? It's getting closer. I mean, we still might have to trade away a really big player. Like, do I have to trade away like, I don't know, Miles Sanders? Will this be enough? Not quite. Yes, I'll go Dallas Goddard instead. Will this be enough? Let's welcome ourselves Justin Herbert to Philadelphia, whose sole purpose is to hopefully get a 
Davis, Josh Allen. So Justin Herbert and Travis Kelsey. On top of that, the number five overall selection. Now, will this be enough? He just disappeared. What do you mean? Who is that? I wouldn't want a mystery man either if I was the Bills. All this nonsense is just wasting us time, man. I mean, none of this makes sense. Why is Justin Herbert a four-star now? Like, do I dare try trading for Tom Brady straight up? Because I think the age doesn't matter. I think it all comes down to overall. Okay, so I think I'm actually correct. See? The Tom Brady should help us more if we can get him. We're just kind of slowly trading up our overall at quarterback. Justin Herbert, Devontae Smith, and Javon Hargrave for Tom Brady? And it's declined. I told you guys that trading in this game makes absolutely zero sense. Exactly. Bro, I do not have time for this nonsense right now. Like, do I actually have to trade away Hassan Reddick instead? Like, this should be enough. It's gotta be enough. Thank you. I knew one of these Madden's things were gonna turn for the worse. How about Travis Kelsey, Tom Brady, and that number five overall pick? At least be closer, and it is. Maybe now, if we do trade up and get, like, the number two or number one pick, the Lions have the number two pick. Hopefully, they'll make this simple on me. You know what? Just take my number four, take my number five. I don't know if this will be enough, and it was. Number two, Tom Brady, Travis Kelsey, please be accepted. It's still declined. Not good, dudes. Not good at all. I think it's the Jags that have the number one pick, but I don't know if that'll be enough of a difference. Number seven and number three for number one, and, and it was accepted. It didn't give me much trouble. This is just wasting valuable time that I could be spending on Madden 24. If this isn't enough, bro, I really don't know what I do from here, but we're gonna try it and just hope for the best. It's still <laughs> declined. What do I do from here? Like, seriously. Like, is there a better 99 overall I can trade for? Like, maybe Miles Garrett instead? Will be accepted straight up? Not quite. So maybe that's the difference. We're about to hit the 15 minute mark and that's how much time I wanted. Miles Garrett would help a lot though. Just come on now. We don't have time for that. A six round pick should be enough. Thank you. If this time dwindles under the 10 minute mark, I might actually be screwed. Like, we might really fail this challenge. The number one pick, Miles Garrett and Tom Brady. Now, the absolute worst case scenario is if this goes backward, because from there, I really don't know what the heck to do. It went backwards. It really did go backwards. Oh, no, boys. <laughs> oh, no. Like, what if we also got the number two overall pick? Which, at this point, man, I really have zero idea who even has it. How about this? these two players? I, I don't have time. I just gotta give players, and it's still declined. One more pretty good player, though, should be enough, and it finally was accepted. Maybe they like the number two pick more than a 99? And that's a no. So I don't think there's any other upgrade I can make at quarterback. How about the number two pick in Tom Brady for Joe Burrow? That's declined. How about Brady with the number one and number two selections? It's declined. Let's just say screw it and try to also get the number three pick, which it took freaking AJ Brown a second and a seven. So what about the entire top three picks? I just want to see what this looks like for Josh Allen before we go try and get Joe Burrow. It was accepted. So that's what it takes. That's what it freaking takes. Stop the timer. It literally took the number one, number two, two and number three overall picks which now means i barely have over 10 minutes to trade for 94 overall cover athlete josh allen with a new trade system i've never even touched wish me luck 10 minutes and 43 seconds to complete my first official trade in all of madden 24 no pressure just like a hundred dollars on the line here as you see we obviously now have six trade slots hopefully that'll be enough for the patriots to bring in josh obviously we'll throw in mac jones because it's probably gonna have to take a quarterback. Although I'm just interested to see. Yeah, dude, it would take about 15 Mac Jones. 10 minutes on the dot left to go. Go ahead and throw in like Matthew Judon, then throw in Kyle Duggar. They do have some interest in Matthew here, but they don't have enough cap room. Oh, this could be a big problem, boys. This could be a massive problem. Yeah, dude, we are so far away, so far. We only have nine minutes to get this done, dude. So first thing I need to do is get rid of some of that cap room for the bills like hopefully there's some pretty simple cap casualties here for me mitch morse i'm just throwing everything out there we're against the freaking clock right now so we're just throwing some cheap guys in hopefully offset the cost and it was thankfully accepted oh gosh it backs me all the way out every single time you complete a trade come on now please be able to afford this so when josh allen how are they still negative taking literally everybody that's worth a penny on their squad please accept 
They decline. We gotta save time here, man. We literally have seven minutes to go. We're still having trades get declined. Keep in mind, this is just to have enough money to trade away to get Josh Allen. We're throwing a third, man. That's got to be enough. Just, I, I'm trying to save you money, Buffalo. Stop being so stingy. There it goes. Back of you all the way out again. Barely six and a half minutes left. You just knew this video was gonna come down to the freaking wire. So I think we're good on the cap front now. Now let's see how far away this is. Oh my god, dude. Dude, it's not even halfway. What if we just go ahead and throw in every single first round pick that we own? We have five minutes, bro. Five minutes, and it's not even in the green yet. Maybe they don't even want Matt. Maybe they'll take Mike instead? Come on, please accept. It's still not green. We're gonna have to trade up these draft picks, bro. Let's see if we can try and get the number one pick in the draft. So the number one pick is owned by the Bears. Number 14, let's do the fourth round pick. We'll also, at this point, bro, we'll, we'll throw in Mac Jones. Just please give me number one. Thank you. Made it simple. Now I'll try trading a second and a first from next year, and even a third for number two this season. Oh, the Cardinals have number two and number three, so maybe we can kill two birds with one stone here. We've got Trent Brown, Jonathan Jones, and Juju Smith. Come on, just please accept. It's declined. Of course it is. Let's just go ahead and just try to do one at a time. One at a time. Well, Mike is sicky with Owen Devontae Parker. We just have three minutes. We really don't have much time to burn, so we get the number two overall pick, and it's gonna back me out again. I can't even be stingy either. I just really have to offer whatever I have at my disposal here, dude. Give him Juju Smith. We'll give him Hunter Henry. We'll also give you Trent Brown. Just please freaking accept you can't afford it, bro. You can't afford it. We'll submit this through. It was accepted. So we do now have number one, number two, and number three overall picks. I hope all freaking God, dude, that's enough. For our top three players, number one, number two, and the number three overall pick. I actually beg, dude, be enough for Josh Allen. Submit this through, and it was accepted! With two minutes and 30 seconds remaining on the clock, we've officially traded for Josh Allen in every Madden that he's ever been in. Safe to say this was the craziest trade yet. So this trade was made on normal trade difficulty. So can you imagine how hard this would have been if it was on hard difficulty? Well, you don't have to imagine. You can click right here to watch my video where I trade a Madden 24 franchise with the trading difficulty on hard. And let me tell you something, boys. The trades in this video are no match what I have to go through in this one.